this is going to be the video for those of you in the sign of uh, Virgo with different life path numbers. I do now a little introduction. We have the card of uh, Virgo, the sign of curiosity, progress, perfection, beauty and order. This sign is associated with the card number nine, the Hermit from uh, Tarot and the planet ruling its Mercury, the planet of uh, business, but also the god of uh, communication. The planet is ruling uh, house number uh, six, the house of work and service to others. We are talking about an earth sign and from the color point of view, the color associated with Virgo, it's the light green. And I have a new beautiful uh, deck called Messages from the Heart of the Divine. And I pick up this light green card, which is called Guided by Love. I think this is very appropriate for uh, Virgo, connecting it with uh, Maria. Actually, we also see it here. Uh, now I realize in the, this card. And what is amazing about these uh, cards is that they are... Uh, also coming with a message and the message is um, channeled so I really have to read you the message which will be that uh, for everybody in uh, Virgo you are not alone in this lifetime even when you are alone in your room in your own space of stillness there are many guides and guardians with you supporting you in every moment Stary beings, ancient ancestors, elemental beings, angels, ascended masters, animal and plant guides, all the beings you choose to walk this life with, who choose to support you along your path. You are not meant to live this life alone. Your guides are cheerleading you every step of the way. They speak to you in the environment, through numbers and patterns, inspiration and insights. Sound and knowingness, dreams, your inner senses, and through your heart. Your guides may be trying to communicate with you through signs and messages to let you know you are supported and on the right path. They may be wanting to teach and guide you more closely, but perhaps you are not listening, or perhaps magical manifestations and opportunities are wanting to flow in but cannot make their way to your awareness because you are not open to the possibility of receiving such magic and loving support. It is safe to let spirit in to guide you on your journey. Open your heart and listen. And I will also read the short ritual that you can do. At your altar, prepare an offering to your guides and guardians. This can be some honey, fresh flower, a song, something you craft or whatever else you are guided to. Think about what these beings may like to have. You can choose one being you wish to connect with or if you are unfamiliar with the beings who walk with you, allow your offering to be an invitation for your guides to come in closer so that you can get to know them. Once your offering is placed, drop into your body for a meditation. Close your eyes and follow the slow flow of your breath. Stay with the breath for a few moments. When you are ready, ask your guides a question you are needing support with or guidance on. Your answer could arise immediately or in synchronicity over the following days. Stay open in your heart and trust whatever unfolds. Thank your guides for their support. So this is valid for everyone and especially because this sign is associated with Hermit, the one with the light you can be following the light of your guidance but also in this way become a guidance and a light for others and we will see what other messages we get for everybody in Virgo with a different life path number This is the reading for those of you in the sign of Virgo with life path number one, the number of action. And with this action, we also get the color red. 
associated with the number one so for you it's a combination of light green from the virgo with the red from the number and that makes you a person who likes and also needs change because you are aware that we need to let go of everything that was unnecessary in our uh, past and whatever influences there were that maybe not they were not the best for us and then in this way we can create space for new forces and maybe sometimes the issues are connected with our dark side but you are very much aware that this is also who you are like everybody else and that makes it easy for you to let go of any kind of fears and then move on and um, accept the the change that uh, comes in your life and i pick up cards from um, three decks and uh, from uh, one tarot deck and the tarot deck for you it's the page of uh, pentacles the card from the vintage wisdom oracle it's the awakening and then you have the card from the twin flames the card of reunion first of all with the red color from the beautiful uh, deck messages from the heart of the divine you have this spiritual uh, maturation we see a person who is now in the heart in a way unifying the energies inside of bringing them in a balance allowing them to open up and in this way regaining her power the same thing here with this uh, page of pentacles it's a young spirit who is taking on a new journey but we see here the mountains we see the beautiful landscape and before that he's getting prepared and the things that he considered he needs it's the knowledge so with the knowledge then he can manifest what it's important in his life and with this card the card of awakening we see this uh, woman on a bed of roses and the flowers here that are called little keys of heaven of our lady's keys they are all like new codes opening up for her we see here the light that slowly slowly takes over the dark any dark we mention here with the colors and you also have in this reunion card side that it's lighter like with really with um, green light green and the other and that it's darker but all this combination of colors it's also seen as a yin and yang all the differences that that are maybe in you when they get balanced and i see this as a balancing of the feminine with the masculine energies in you then this awakening is uh, possible and i will just read from the book of uh, the deck this card speaks of a new light on your pathway the process of awakening can take many forms whether uh, subtle like the soft down of a new day or challenging as when the searing blade of truth is needed to sever ties that no longer serve you well it's almost like what we said about the combination of color for you that uh, the things that are not serving you leave them behind and then you move with this energy of awakening and uh, card of uh, spiritual maturation this deck also has channel messages so i'm going to read the message that comes with this card for you you are undergoing a great transformation of spiritual maturity that is required you to claim your spiritual strength it is time to commit to your higher vision your goals and dreams you must call upon your inner masculine to empower, protect and guide you in this process. And the inner masculine energy provides the container for your feminine power to express and thrive. This requires commitment to yourself, discipline, boundaries, and making sure all your needs are provided for. In order to stand in this power of the maturity, any energies you are carrying of the wooden masculine must be tended to and heal so that you can stand confidently in the sensitive power of your heart while feeling protected and guiding by your inner strength. 
the images are also very powerful and I think the card of the reunion has the same messages. Of course, uh, we talk about a twin flame, but twin flame can be a person outside you, can be a romantic connection or somebody who really keeps a mirror for you so you can always know where you are and who you are. But it can also be the twin flame in you, the energy feminine and the masculine, they are like two flames and when they are coming together when you finally balance you are in the zero in the zero point it's like you become one with the with everything and then you have this flame that that we also see it here coming from your heart so you actually act from your heart or you see like a mandala here a mandala here and the attention is in the middle in the zero point it can be about your own other half you are reuniting with your higher self the sooner the alignment or uh, the balance then the sooner the awakening into who you really are this special card here it's a reminder that the purpose of your twin flame journey is to help you align with the best version of yourself so remain open, willing and accepting of where your path leads. Don't worry, wonder or wait. I will have to repeat this because I am telling myself this very often. Don't worry, wonder or wait. This is about real trust, knowingness of who you really are. If you stay the course you will align with divine love for yourself and attract your highest divine partner of this lifetime who can also be your higher self i will um, end this uh, reading for you with a ritual that is associated with this card sit with your spine straight and take four slow deep breaths in and out Close your eyes and imagine a vibrant cactus flower blooming at your solar plexus right below your chest. This sacred flower takes at least 70 years to mature and bloom and carries the frequency and wisdom of the spiritual warrior. Feel into its vibration and allow its energy to activate your DNA with spiritual maturity and strength and to reveal the ancient wisdom that lives within. Repeat the following. I am my own protector, provider, guide and teacher. I am the shield and the sword, the wolf and the mountain. I commit to my path with my whole heart, taking inspired action and enforcing boundaries where needed so that my dreams can bloom abundantly. Here you also see these flowers who were already blooming. Here you have the blooming roses. You are really in a path to find out who you truly are. I hope these cards are also useful for you and thank you for watching. This is the reading for those of you in uh, Virgo with life path number two, the number of association. And the color are the light green for Virgo and you have orange for life path number two. And you have this beautiful card of inspired uh, action, looking for uh, balance, looking for uh, inspiration. And uh, the association of these two colors are making you somebody who is uh, capable of bringing change because you don't stay too much in the past. You try always to solve any issues and then move on. And you know that if you visualize with the visualized techniques, like almost like this woman in this card, you can um, bring harmony and balance in, in your health, in uh, your uh, life. So just Look for solution, maybe uh, like this in association with others or mirroring your uh, 
male energy, female energy, find a balance in between, find a zero point and then move on after you uh, found a solution. You know that we need to live in the moment, but that's also where to focus our energy. The past is teaching us the future we can create with inspired action and that, that needs change, but it's important not to stay too long, not in the past and not in the future. And uh, as much as we can to be present. And the cards for you from the vintage deck, you have a shadow self, you have from Tarot the Ace of uh, Cups. It's a very beautiful Tarot deck. I hope you can see something. It's a, the landscape, uh, the landscape, sorry, here, the Tarot. So everything is a line, but this is also a beautiful uh, card. And then from the Twin Ascension deck, Take Me Home deck, you have this Open Your Heart, which again, it looks like a mirroring, but that's what's happening here in your own heart. And even here you have like a like a portal, you see also two sides. It's a, it's a, an important theme, uh, it seems for you, this uh, mirroring. And of course you have the life path number two. I will start by reading for you the channeling that came with this card of uh, inspired action. Big leaps are asked of us in order to align with those big vision and dreams brewing within. Unless we get to work and take action on the vision, grounding our dreams into the material plane, our desire may never come to fruition. It can be scary to leap outside your comfort zone and into your wildest dreams. Write that book you've been dreaming of. Start a business on your own. Create a platform to share your truth. Move to a new city your soul is calling you to. Change career or simply show up in the world with a liberated, sensitive heart. This card is coming to you today with a message that you are ready to align with your dreams. The big inspiration and calling a lighting a flame within your heart and to receive the abundance that follows. In order for this path of desire to widen, you have work to do. What is brewing within is brewing for a reason. All you need to do is taking action. This card is a reminder to let go of any procrastination and step into inspired action with courage and strength. Don't be afraid, bring soul. Your guidance will lead you along the way. The time is now, <laughs> exactly. Oh, what I said about being in the present, in the now. And then I suppose this also means to deal with this uh, shadow self here. Night has followed and a young girl paused beneath a stone portal, perhaps seeking guidance from the raven above. The raven stands on high as the all-seeing gatekeeper, hovering between the realm of the conscious and unconscious mind a harbinger of powerful secrets and revealer of ohms and signs. This potent totem was said to fly out of the dark womb of the cosmos, bringing the gift of light from the sun's rays. The appearance of this car presents you with a powerful opportunity to see how your shadow self could be preventing you from finding peace. It could well be a missing link by exposing your fears to the light you will dissolve the power that once had and transmute them into powerful allies. So that's actually your power with this combination of color to expose the shadow and to understand what you need to understand. You also uh, maybe with signs and help from uh, the unconscious and then bring the change, the change that you need. And this beautiful Open Your Heart card about uh, set loving boundaries. It is human nature to guard and protect yourself from being hurt again. But if you carry past pain with you, you will continue to put up a wall that prevents you from experiencing great love. Letting go of the fear of being hurt and setting loving boundaries teaches you to trust the process and open your heart to receive God. This card indicates that you need to let go of your stories and cut energetic cords that are attached to judgment, expectation and comparison to others. 
you may also be placing condition on those around you by expecting them to fill a void that you need to fill from within. Be willing to forgive others who have hurt you. Learn to say no and set loving boundaries. The more heart aligned you are, the greater is your ability to express yourself from the heart. And this is what this woman here does with Inspire Action. This is the dream of all these women, I think, in uh, all these cards. Cutting energetical cords, it's such an important thing because otherwise, whatever new situation we have, we take the past with us and you have this uh, quality of uh, being able to cut this energetical cord. Sometimes we are not even aware of them. Like it happened to me, some energetical cords, they just appear like after three years that of separation from uh, in a relationship and I thought I did cut all energetic cords but then a sign uh, a story comes up and then you are realize that you still have those uh, energetic cords and it's important to be free mostly because in order for us to evolve to move in another dimension even that it's only inside you we need to be able to be free of all these energetical cords and this is also what the ace of cups it's a new beginning so maybe that's also for you more in relationship but this is you see the genie that come out of the bottle and then brings new the rainbow that it's just a little bit to be seen there but it's there it goes over the rainbows in order to get this new beginnings, especially at the emotional level, you need to deal with your shadow self and most of all not to be afraid of because it is uh, who you are, it is a mirroring of uh, yourself as well on the other side of this portal or the shadow self, just things that you, they need to come to light in order to be healed and understood so you can really live from the heart as uh, we see in this beautiful card as well and hoping that these uh, cards are useful for you I will end up with a ritual that is uh, associated with this card that maybe can be useful for you at one point in time in your journal draw a circle in the center of the circle write the thing you are wanting to leap into on the outside of the circle draw rays and label them with each action step small and large you will need to take to align with what you are leaping to into. For example, if you are wanting to leap into a specific new dream job you are calling in, then you may need to work through any insecurities holding you back, write a resume and apply. Or if you are wanting to make a big move, then there will be clearing out, packing and loose ends to tie up in your current place in order for the new place to come through. Each day Wow to take on one action step toward what the universe is calling you toward. You are worthy of all your dreams, but your dreams need you to believe in them and get moving. The genie is there to fulfill your desires. You send them to the universe, but then in order to get them done, you also need this uh, inspired action. I love these cards for you, I hope you love them too and thank you for watching. This is the reading for those of you in uh, Virgo with life path number 3, the number of uh, communication and you had the color light green for Virgo and now you have the color yellow for um, your life path with this beautiful expanded vision um, message. And with this combination or color, you are very clear spirit. You go directly to the core of any uh, problem or situation. You are uh, focused on whatever you have to do in order to achieve something, your goals. And you also have the courage and sometimes the insights that are necessary to uh, take maybe a risk. So it's a great uh, combination of colors for you. And the cards that I uh, pick up for you from the Vintage uh, Oracle, it's the Guardian Angel. Then you have the King of Wands, who's really very appropriated as a tarot card. And from the Twin um, Flame Oracle, you have the 
higher conscious awareness increase your frequency. And I already see here that you have a number three as your life path. You have here 3-3, three, three, which is actually a um, magic number, this idea of unity. And even uh, this card, if I'm not uh, mistaken, it's 39, then it's a 12, then you have a 3 again. So this idea of unity may be for you the unity between mind, uh, body and uh, heart because this king of wands really makes you a person who is trustful you see like the those who built the pyramids who had the knowledge to build the pyramids the courage to build the pyramids the knowingness but also spiritual uh, awareness because uh, these pyramids are more than just uh, some uh, blocks of uh, stones let me start with a message from this expanded vision because the, each card from this um, Heart of the Divine uh, Oracle has a channel message and the message for you will be when we find ourselves stuck in life or feeling victimized, the remedy is always simple, a shift of perspective. When we are stuck in struggle, it is easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. When we are confused or can't find our way through a situation or lesson on our path, the clarity can be found through shifting awareness. We must always see all people and choices in our lives from the perspective of our higher self, meaning through the lens of divine love. This card is coming to you as a gentle nudge to shift your awareness to align with your higher vision. What are you not seeing from the lens of love? There is a reason for all that happens in your life. Everything in your reality is simply a lesson to return to your heart. Remember to see all from the highest perspective, understanding that the heart the respects of life only exists to show us more light. And I almost see like the same, like here with the king of uh, wands. You, you can do that, you know, see things in perspective. It's just uh, that you are maybe on that path to expand your vision and you have you are like in a kind of transformation if we see here the butterfly you become the butterfly you become even here you see a butterfly in this uh, higher conscience awareness that I am um, going to look for the message now your energetic channels are opening and your thoughts are expanding this expansion is rising your conscious awareness and helping you notice spiritual signs that are directing your path. This card implies that you need to tune in deeper and listen to your intuition. Learning to trust yourself will enable you to align with higher soul wisdom that directs you towards your soul path. Make lifestyle modification to align with positive vibes on a regular basis. Practice the power of positive thinking, eating higher vibrational foods, connecting with tribes that lift you into higher state of consciousness. This helps you tune into your vibration level so then when you are feeling low, you have the ability to shift your frequency higher, becoming a more vibrant person. I think that's the whole idea that you, you are already so powerful. Now you just have to lift it to a higher level, higher level of consciousness. You can get your wings, you can become the butterfly. The transformation is already there. And I think this card of the guardian angels, uh, it's also an assurance for you that you have a guardian angel, you can become a guardian angel. Because once we are already aware and we are the kings, the, the one that can be trusted, we create our own reality, we live it, we love it, we own it, and then we can also share it with others. This card of the guardian angel, the word angel uh, comes from Greek, angelus, meaning messenger. As God messenger, and remember Mercury is also associated with Virgo, which was the god of uh, messages. And then you have here communication. So it's the communication also from above. As God emissaries, angels are vehicles of unconditional love and service to humanity. In particular, guardian angels are thought to guide and protect the onward journey toward God. Guardian angels can take 
a myriad of forms which reflect the conscience of the individual at any given time. For some, the vision of their angel, whenever seen, heard or felt, remains fixed, but for others, it's changing. Patient and listen carefully, as your angel often communicate in unexpected ways, but always in accordance with the perfect of divine timing. Yes, I found this card so powerful for you, like, like a message that wants to come, something that it's on your path and you just have to see it. And if you are not already uh, realizing amazing things in your life, you will do that. And I will end up your reading with a ritual that is associated with this beautiful uh, card. Close your eyes and connect to your breath. Bring your awareness to a glowing ball of light two feet above your head. Take notice of its color and how its energy feels to you. Follow this light as it begins to slowly move up through the roof of your home and into the sky above your town. Observe your surroundings from this perspective. Now imagine this ball of light begins to slowly float back down inch by inch until arriving back above your head. Imagine this light now starts to move downward, landing softly in your heart. Once at your heart, visualize in the light something or someone you love most in the world. This may be a special memory, activity, pet or a loved one. See this love radiating in the light of the energy in your heart. Stay with this for a few moments. When you are finished, slowly come back into your body with a few deep breaths, rolling your shoulders and neck and placing your hands on your heart. Carry this perspective with you through your day and return to this ritual whenever you are needing to come back into the expanding vision of your heart. I believe that our heart is like a connector between the sky and the earth. We are the magician. We are taking the energy from the sky. We are transforming in our heart. Then we are uh, projecting and expanding around us and to the earth. And this is what we are here to be. Thank you for watching and hope these cards are uh, useful for you. This is the reading for those of you in Virgo with life path number four, the number of home, of stability. And you have the color light green for... Uh, sign and now green for the number of course these are associated with the heart you have a lot of love here in the home and stability you also need love it's an important issue for you the emotional issues are important for you and you can see yourself as a gardener you your plants are your emotional issues sometimes you are getting very excited sometimes the work is a little bit boring but you have the power to create the shape that you want in this uh, garden and you know that this it takes uh, time this is really uh, important for you the garden of your soul and the other cards that i have for you is this card the card of uh, compassion then from the tarot you have the eight of uh, cups and then you have the divine masculine from the twin flame stack I really have to look at this eight of cups like you are entangled in a lot of emotional things but you want to advance you want to cut this um, energetical cords and advance but this is still a sign that love emotional issues are important for you and maybe with this card of divine masculine it's a time for you to pay attention or heal the masculine energy in you or show it more compassion let's see first the message from this uh, card of uh, motherly love because all these cards are coming with a message from the heart of the divine beautiful child have you been too hard on yourself lately are you in need of sacred nourishment gentleness and deep loving support your heart is calling for the softness and compassion of your inner mother for healing the archetype of the mother is present and loving unconditionally. She nourishes, protects, guides and calls us back to our inner wisdom. 
The mother within is, is your greatest medicine designed to nourish you exactly in the way you are needing for your healing and well-being. If you did not receive the mothering you needed as a child, then this message is even more important for your healing. For when you learn to meet the needs of your inner child by being your own mother, radical transformation occurs. Your inner child is calling to be heard and seen, asking for unconditional love and acceptance now. There are needs deep within your heart that have been ignored, ready to be tended to now. Perhaps you need some reassurance as you step into something new, or to make a nourishing meal for yourself, or even to enforce fiercely protective boundaries. Whatever you are needing deep within your heart, how can you serve yourself in love today? Feel love and support for yourself. Feel deeply into your heart. Take care of yourself from a space of unconditional love. Show compassion to yourself, I will say. These elements have given up the fight and does not know where to turn. And she no longer has the strength to deny her vulnerability or hide away from prying eyes. The presence of this card indicates that now is a favorable time to view the world through the healing properties of compassion. Be especially aware of any strong judgment and expectation carried by you or others, which may be freezing your ability to connect with an open heart. Practice extending sincere and conditional love and caring to those around you and face any problem you encounter with a sincere wish to alleviate suffering. So again, the unconditional love that seems so important some healing that is going on now and time for yourself with this eight of uh, cups and the divine masculine. When the king appears, it indicates your reverence for higher wisdom that is found within. You are aligning with your truth while balancing your emotions. This step gives you confidence to show up in life, demonstrating both strength and emotional stability because you have learned how to get out of your own way arise about karmic limitation. Focus on letting go of any residual need to control situation or outcomes. It is something going on in your life right now, maybe at a heart uh, level, maybe in a relation with others, maybe even in the relation with yourself, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, the inner child, there are so many issues, but the point is that you are looking for uh, the stability and you are looking to find a balance, maybe even for uh, new beginnings. I will uh, read for you the ritual that is associated with a card of uh, motherly love, hoping that it can be of any assistance to you. Close your eyes and connect to your breath for a few moments. Place your left hand on your heart and envision your inner child. Your inner child is simply you when you are a child, still present in your heart, no matter how old you are today. Notice how old your child self is as you envision them. Notice how they appear, what they are feeling, doing, saying, and so on. As you tune in to do their essence, take a moment to ask them what they need. Maybe it's a hug to be rocked, to be fit, something specific or more time to play and rest. When you receive guidance on what they need, take a moment to silently say, I love you. Be in allowance of any emotions that come up, letting the emotion of your inner child be expressed through you in the present. When you are ready, create space to give to yourself whatever your inner child is needing. And I will add to this guidance, also tell your inner child that, look, I know you suffer, I know you are in need, but I am here, I am your uh, best friend, and I made it. Just the fact that you are here and you are listening to this video and you are in looking for uh, ways to make your soul garden even more beautiful. You have your roots, you are surrounded by beauty and by love, and it's now important to find and allow the love from your heart for yourself mostly, the way I uh, see in your cards. Hope these cards are useful and thank you for watching. These are the readings for those of you in the sign of Virgo with life path number 
5, the path of uh, freedom. Your colors are light blue for the sign and blue for the life path. That also comes here in the freedom card. And the message is and, and guided by love and the power of your voice. And with this combination of colors, you are really a very kind person. You are a healer. You are aware of the power of thoughts, but also um, the power of prayer, of the things you say or the things you think. You know that first is the thought and then the thoughts are creating your reality. So for you, it can happen very easily that you just think of something or someone and that person appears on your life or that things already happen. So this is a very powerful thing and just use it wisely with uh, for the higher good of uh, all. And the cards for you are the card of enchantment. You have the two of uh, swords from the tarot and you have the card of rebirth from the twin flame stack. I will just say some things about this two of the of swords. It's like you are in a moment of making a choice, but the choices that you made, you need to go in, listen to your own voice. I see here also like a year and this is also the power of your own voice, the internal voice, that one that comes in. This is how you will find the solution to any choice, listening to the wisdom from inside and i will first read the message that comes with this power of your voice card for too long the voice of the feminine the heart's wise expression has been silenced to make way for the voice of logic and learn knowledge to take the lead i actually read somewhere that even einstein said that that uh, the leader is the heart and the servant is the mind and we live in a world where we forgot and we are just respecting the servant. Because of this, for generation after generation, maybe have been afraid to speak their truth, to speak out against what they feel in their hearts is wrong or to simply share their wisdom, especially if it is different from the masses. But the divine wants us to all share our unique stories and perspective within the world for that is why we are here and how we heal. If this message is coming to you today, now it is time to access your voice and share your truth with the world. You are not here to stay quiet. Your voice is needed and you are being guided to recognize its power. The sound frequency of your voice, your language, unique tone and words heal and activate stuck energy on the planet. No more will the sacred power of your voice be silenced. Let your voice be free. Shut your truth from the roof, rooftops, own your wisdom and sing on the stage of your life. The world is waiting for your fullest expression of who you are and what you came here to share. People are waiting for the healing frequency of your message. Spend time getting quiet to uncover the truth of you, to share the language of your soul with the world. Yes, the card of freedom. Be free. And Another thing about freedom, of course, we have what we call the free will when we do what we like and then you have the other opposite will, the will of Caesar. I just read somewhere this week when we do what we are told to do. But we have to trust that when it's about your inner voice, people will do what they should do according to their consciousness. We don't need to be afraid of. And we have here the card of enchantment with this uh, Medusa here, which always is a kind of double symbol, like here with the two of swords. You have to choose if this is really an enchantment that it's good for you or if it's just a temptation that uh, it's going to bring you on a path that it's not really your path. So let's see the message, just as the presence of enchantment can delight. This card also calls for strength of character to discern wise decisions from superficial ones. Only you can determine wherever you have been uh, blessed with something to enjoy, or if you are in danger 
of uh, being swept away by the tide of unconscious desire or conditioned responses. If you feel safe within the spell of enchantment, go ahead, dive in and explore. But if you are unsure, remember the far-sighted lighthouse. Think of the plight of those unfortunate sailors and keep your feet firmly rooted on terra firma. So yeah, it is your choice in a way. You can go for the danger because you know this was also in your combination of color. Your thoughts are creating reality. Sometimes you create maybe a dangerous reality for you because you want to know more about yourself. So, But you take the decision according to your own uh, heart. You have the freedom. That's the, the free choice that we said here. And even this card of rebirth, it's a card of uh, personal freedom unleashed. I see the uh, butterfly. The rebirth phases of your ascension journey can be an extremely painful process as you are stripped of personal habits, core beliefs and karmic patterns. This process is referred to as the shaman death, the death of your old self. Just like the phoenix, you will rise up of the ashes and step into your new identity, becoming the person you were meant to be. You went through a transformation and now you are rebirthing. Maybe you made different type of choices, good and also good, but uh, painful. And now you are in the moment where uh, you are ready to share the power of your voice because we create our own reality and you believe that with our thoughts and then we have to own it the reality that we created we have to live according to what we believe in we have to love it we have to love ourselves of course and when we do all this we can also share with others wherever we choose it's important to choose for the higher good of all once we are the co-creator of our reality. I will end up this reading by uh, reading you a ritual associated with this channeled message of the card. Place your hands on your heart and repeat the following. My voice is my prayer to humanity. My tone heals the waters and blesses the earth. My truth awakens my soul to all its power and potential. Wow. Start to sing the long sound of the letter A, then O, and next A. Continue this for as long as it feels good, allowing the sounds to open up the channels of your throat chakra. When you are finished, you may feel inspired to begin to research and chant ancient mantras, to better understand the power of your voice, or to sing, or to write poetry, a letter, or story, or to simply tell somebody how you really feel or speak with more confidence in your day-to-day -day life. Anytime you feel disconnected from the power of your voice or discouraged from speaking your truth, come back to this practice. The more you exercise the energy of your voice, the more natural it, its powerful healing expression will become. Because in the beginning it was the sound. It's all a frequency and our voice is our uh, magical wand. I hope these cards are useful for you and thank you for watching. This will be the reading for those of you in Virgo with life path number six. You have the number of uh, harmony, which is that very important uh, for you. And you have a combination of light green with indigo. And this combination of color makes you somebody who seems relaxed. You have a lot of humor. Uh, you can accept the situation of your life just with a smile on your face. But you are actually going much deeper. You want to know the meaning of death and life. Even if it seems like you don't know or you don't care, you know a lot. And even this card, it's called reflection of the wise and for you the cards they came out are the hierophant so this is also somebody who knows knows how to stay in a harmony 
you have the card of uh, integration which is also a 6-6 six, six. so double harmony for you and you have the card of uh, innocence maybe you still see the world in a, or life with the eyes of an innocent child like every time you see something it's for the first time and that helps you to keep your smile and I will uh, start by uh, reading the messages from this card because they are uh, channeled you are wise beyond measure encoded with lifetime of sacred wisdom teaching an ancient mystery Everything you seek, everything you wish to know, and all the guidance you need is already within you. Cosmic all soul. Your intuition exists for this very reason, to guide you along your sacred path. You may feel that answers are outside of yourself and find yourself taking on the opinion of others, whether you ask for them or not. Some of these opinions may be helpful and supportive, but others may be distracting you from your own wisdom and truth. Through it may feel natural to seek from outside, for that is how we have been conditioned. The answers you seek are never outside of you. You just need to get quiet to hear your truth. If the answers are not arising at this time, there is a divine reason you are not meant to know them. Trust that the guidance will arise right when you need it. Most of all, trust yourself and relax into your own wisdom. You already know all that you need to beautiful message for you and i also truly believe that that some old souls they seems like they take life easily but that's the result of uh, all the work they did in other incarnation because of course i believe in uh, the fact that we had more existence more chances to improve on this planet and the card of uh, innocence i think it's a uh, very clear how beautiful it is retrieving and preserving the spirit of innocence has become a conscious necessity for many perhaps this is why the vintage movement has remained popular for so long we crave the visual safety of the past and the nice nicest associated with an age where innocence and decency in our following beings was more commonplace this card takes you to look uh, through the lens of innocence and either to see yourself or a situation where judgment, guilt or blame may be present. The long shadow of this feeling either to self or other serves no useful purpose. By remembering the message of this card you can find renewed inspiration and clarity in relation to your question. Just to see the world through the eyes of the innocence because then there is more light and I even going to participate in a kind of uh, prayer with more people at the seven o'clock England time then we just try to visualize the world as a better place this image is uh, something to meditate about not necessarily the kissing of the two but the idea and the beauty of the nature and what I see here it's just a good energy the energy of harmony that is also so important for you and this card of um, integration and multidimensional healing your path is directing you deeper internally so you can integrate the multidimensional layers of yourself this process helps you cultivate inner balance while expanding your higher dimensional realms this card indicates that you are assimilating fragments of information and wisdom from your soul to help you go forward. Don't rush this process. The revelation that you uncover will help you discover the depths of who you truly are so that you can integrate with the highest version of yourself. So you have a lot of aha moments when you realize you know it already when you are aware of the wisdom of your heart all the knowledge that you have like uh, this year of and all the knowingness that already exists in you i feel like i would like to meet people with this kind of uh, combination and especially 
if these cards are resonating with you. These are the kind of people that uh, can bring harmony in the world. To end the reading, I will read you a ritual that is associated with this beautiful card. Have a journal and pencil next to you. Close your eyes and get quiet, focusing only on the sounds and sensation of your breath. Take a few deep, deep breaths and on the exhale, let out a big sigh or a sound, letting go of the noise, opinions and anxieties you may have picked up recently. From this stillness, form a question in your mind. Make sure it is as clear and concise as possible. Ask yourself the question and wait for the answer to arise from your being. You will know if the answer is coming from a place of intuitive knowing versus the ego or from outside yourself when the answer feel light, even empowering instead of a feeling of heaviness, mental pressure or doubt. It may take a few times to reach clarity of knowing if nothing arises, come back to your question later or hold the question in your mind before bed and ask for the answer to arise in your dreams. Write down wherever you receive. And this is it. I think more and more people realize that they can channel actually, they can look for the wisdom in themselves and then by relaxing and in silence, in the silence of the thoughts, they... Um, can ask question and then if it feels good, if it resonates with you, the answer that comes gives you a feeling of peace, it gives you even a goose flash, like it's so true, it's so deep and otherwise you know it's just maybe your mind or your ego, which is also good, but uh, slowly, slowly you learn to see you yourself for who you really are, the wise one. I hope this card are useful for you and thank you for watching. This is the reading for those of you in Virgo with life path number seven, the path of uh, spirituality here. And you have a combination of light uh, green from Virgo with violet, which is um, a beautiful card called you are unfolding, you are on the path, you see here from the cycle of the moon so things are opening up for you and you also have this beautiful card of divine timing so all in divine timing and from tarot this is a special tarot the landscape tarot you have the card of summer so you are in a beautiful period i will say in a, your life with a lot of light and joy and you have the card of the high priest um, another nine personal empowerment so you are maybe at the end of some uh, cycle so with this divine uh, timing the combination of the two colors make you somebody who has authority <laughs> and then you see here the high priest you are um, attracted to all kind of spiritual uh, path and um, different organization maybe with different beliefs and different uh, dogma but you manage to get to the essence of uh, everything let's say that you see what really resonates what is really the basic things where is this coming from and that makes you a kind of authority that people are really looking to you for answers so this is really the personal empowerment that I also see it here you know, these uh, cards are quite uh, connecting with each other for you. Yeah, you have another nine number here that is from the Hermit that is associated with Virgo. So the idea of the cycles that are ending, it's important. And I will read for you the message from this uh, beautiful card because they are channeled. You are unfolding. You are always unfolding, changing and transforming, blossoming, just like the flowers. All of nature is expanding and contracted constantly an end cycle of death and rebirth we often get so caught up focusing on our goals and destination that we dismiss the beauty of our growing process often bypassing or resisting our natural cycles of creation 
You don't have to force your healing or resist or fear your changes. You are naturally healing always. You are always growing in your own rhythm according to the natural flow of divine timing. Wow, divine timing is for you. There is nothing you have to do except trust this process, allowing yourself to unfold, to die and be reborn again and again, and to remain open and trusting as you move through your cycles. A flower doesn't force its blooming or resist its death come winter. It simply blooms and dies and blooms again. And then it's coming back to the summer here. There are changing happening inside you now that may feel challenging or uncomfortable. There may be a deep shedding of old identities, beliefs, habits, way of being, perhaps even job, relationship or location ready to depart from your life. Trust what is past its expiration and allow your healing to happen. This card is a message to be fluid like nature. Wherever you are in your growing process, it's exactly where you are meant to be. Trust you are unfolding. Wow, trust the divine timing. If you need to hear that and look at this card, the appearance of the divine timing cards invites you to align with your intuitive nature while being patient and flexible. Things might happen at a different pace than anticipated or opportunities may spontaneously arise, so be ready for synchronized happenings, unexpected blessing and sudden endings or beginnings. Yes, what I said with the cycles and then you have this beautiful summer card. So trust that this will be delivered to you when you need what is for the highest good, not only of you, but to everybody uh, around you. It is a difference between what we think we want and what we really need. If we trust that divine timing, things will just unfold. The synchronicity will come like unseen forces and connection uh, are leading you to a point in your life where you can find this personal empowerment. And let's see the message. When the high priest appears, he brings with him the key to life which unlocks the hidden mysteries held within your soul. This allows you to take back your power and align with your highest destiny, granting you the ability to tap into a greater truth. It also helps your conscious mind to integrate with your superconscious wisdom. You are now using your great potential. You are becoming the enlightened uh, leader and you can live the life you are meant to live. Wow, that's all I say like life it's a continuous summer beautiful summer day for you so just trust the timing i see this card so beautiful that there is not so much uh, to say i hope you in you see them too and you get the message i will just read you the ritual that is associated with this beautiful card sit with your spine straight and your legs crossed with your palm facing up on your lap Take a few moments to connect to your breath and arrive in the here and now, finding your center of stillness within. Now, imagine that a rose is so softly blooming in your heart. Witness it grow luscious and vibrant, unfolding petal by petal in all its divine magic. Take in the smells and colors of your blooming rose heart. When it reaches its fullness, observe the petals falling one by one into your lap until all the petals have fallen. Just when you notice the flower has died, a new bud appears ripe and ready to blossom, fresh green with a hint of petal pink peeking through. Repeat this life say, cycle as many times as it's right for you. When you are finished, place your hands on your heart and repeat the following. I honor and trust my natural cycle of blooming according to my divine blueprint. I flow like water with the beautiful ribs of my healing. Trust your divine blueprint. Thank you for watching. This is the reading for those of you in uh, Virgo with life path number eight, the number of power. You have the power. And the combination of color, light green with magenta, makes you somebody who can't be fooled. 
you can see under the mask of uh, people you can uh, even push them to face their um, demons you have here a dragon uh, maybe uh, like a shape shifter you are connected with your uh, third eye awakening the dreamer and you really believe in unconditional love it's just that uh, in your relation and in uh, your um, experiences this belief is really challenged by others and the cards for you are the card of <laughs> power wow uh, that's um, really who you are very powerful the card of spiritual awakening and you have the knight of cups that's the card of uh, taking action and you take action based on your heart because you are such a true believer in unconditional love. And I will read for you the meaning of this uh, Awakening the Dreamer card, the message actually, because they are channeled. Daring dreamer, you are being called to broaden your vision of what is possible and dream a new world into being. The seeds of dreams that live in your heart were intentionally placed there for a reason. They are meant to be cast out as powerful sparks in, that inspire greater dreams for humanity. The dreamer and the dream seeds within you are natural for you to resonate with. You only need to cast aside your logic and dive into the expansive and watery realms of your heart's vision. This card is asking you to go deeper, to spend time in meditation, visualizing what you desire to create. Visualize the world you wish to dream into being. Allow each vision to be the spark that lights the way. You don't need to know how you will bring this vision to life. This is the mind trying to control the flow of love expression through you. The first step is just to dream and light the spark in your heart. The universe will take care of the rest. It is time to awaken the dreamer within because your dreams are love and you are so powerful that you can do that. The presence of this triumphant card reminds you of your spiritual inheritance and sovereign self. You are a bright, regal spark of divine, independent, individual and yet totally connected. Because once we realize we are all one, then we can become individual, we are unique, first uh, realizing that we are all part of the same dream or we are all dreaming the same dream. Perhaps you are in the midst of a power struggle or need to reclaim control from a person or situation. Are you using your position of power wisely? Are you being called to stand firm in your power and have the courage of your conviction? So you have the power and just use it for the highest good of all for the dreams about the world that you want to create because this spiritual awakening card it's about your soul is waking up and is ready to spiritually evolve this evolutionary process is activating your divine blueprint so that you can live your destiny this card implies that you are in the midst of midst of a spiritual awakening and are shifting away from ego-driven ambition to find more fulfillment in your life, love and livelihood. Don't let fear paralyze your action, which will prevent you from living in alignment with your highest truth. Making life-changing decisions, it's not easy. But however, you have the power. Altering your thoughts about the process will enable you to integrate these changes in a productive manner. Take action invites the universe to interfere on your behalf, redirecting your path and assisting you to take the necessary action to shift or you'll be shifted. I hope you also are aware that we are moving into um, another dimension or we, there is an evolution on this planet, but that's for all of us. It's not that some are taking the action and some not. So um, everybody's waking up to their own power. Everybody starts seeing more with uh, their uh, true eyes. And if not life, it's bringing us in a situation that uh, we will have these aha moments and 
we will realize that uh, spiritual awakening, how we call it, it's here for uh, each and one of us. I hope you are aware of your own power. And I will end this reading with a ritual associated with this card of awakening the dreamer. Before bed, set a journal and a glass of water on your bedside table. Take a moment to call in your guides and guardians for protection and support. Set the intention to be shown your greatest dream and vision for your life's dream time. In the dream realm is where we can access the deeper parts of our psychic that hold the blueprint for our soul. Close your eyes and drift off. Upon waking, write down everything you remember, colors, people, words, feelings, location, and so on. Journal how you felt, any symbolism means to you, or any feelings of inspiration that arise as you awake. Trust that whatever you have received, it's exactly what you were meant to. You may wish to repeat this ritual over a series of nights. Notice what gets sparked in your heart over the following days and weeks. And of course, I will recommend that from time to time you can go back to your dreams and then you think, oh yeah, that was the message. So you understand this language that comes in your dream even better because this is something that doesn't necessarily go through our mind or it's not logical for our mind. That's why you even have this woman here using her uh, third eye as a vision. Wow. I love your cards. I hope there are some useful information for you here. And thank you for watching. This is the reading for those of you in Virgo with life path number nine, the number of altruism. And you are a combination of light green from the sign with gold, which makes you somebody who is love. You are emanating love. You have knowingness, just inner knowingness. You know how to deal with difficult situation, you know how to deal with fears, you are inner oriented and you are shining this for the people around you. And this card is called Divine Passion. And other cards for you are the Ace of uh, Pentacles, which is a card of uh, new beginnings. You have the card of uh, unification, another nine here. You are uh, bringing together all the forces in uh, your heart, aligning with abundance. That could also be with this Ace of Pentacles, a new start. And then you have again a new start here with the card of adventure. And I love this card with a woman who is uh, on a butterfly, but having the Tour Eiffel on the back because there had to be a thought of some point that somebody has a vision of the Eiffel Tower and now it's sitting there once we are aligned with our inner love and light just go in new adventure and you never know what it's going to bring you or where it's going to uh, bring you. I'm going to read for you the message associated with this card of divine passion because they are channeled messages. You are the poles of passion, the universe in flesh and bones, stars and sky incarnate, sacred fire of life burning brightly in your heart. Every fiber of your being was designed on purpose because you are here on purpose to live on purpose. Your unique design of life moves through you and guides you as the energy of desire, leading you to your passion, pleasure and realms of infinite bliss. It's that embodying pull that draws you towards someone or something. The butterflies of excitement. Look at this from the adventure. And this dear one is your purpose. You are meant to honor any awe and all desire as a divine message leading toward the realm of yes, away from the things to dim for your heart that do not match your radiant passion. You are here to follow your passionate heart in every moment. Passion is your North Star that sets your soul on fire. When you say yes to passion, to desire, joy and pleasure, a portal of infinite potential opens. <laughs> Look, you can even uh, build another Eiffel Tower. And the universe responds by filling you with more love and bliss and prosperity that you previously thought you could contain. Choosing desire requires your heart to be brave, to devour the shoots and limitation of the mind, and to choose to dance with life instead. 
Love is always choosing you. Your life only asks that you choose it in return. Align with the abundance that is possible. Because this word abundance means there is enough. You are also altruist, but you know there is enough for everybody. So you can also share what you, what you know and what you have with others. And this card of adventure, it's about inner and outer adventures. And it's also the willingness to learn. The spirit of adventure tests both rational and intuitive boundaries and backbones us to bodily step into the realm of uncertainty and uh, risk. Now is the time to review your direction or contemplate a new way of dealing with an existing situation like this Ace of Pentacles here. And the card of aligning with your abundance, attracting abundance requires that you become one with self creating unification of your soul. To achieve this, you have to release old stories and reprogram belief system. Doing so will provide balance in your thoughts and feelings and allow emotion to align with your action. This raises your energy frequency and helps you shift into an abundant life. You will align with real love when you learn to just be yourself. I think this is also this beautiful heart there in the middle. Being your true self gives you permission to live the abundant life you want. You determine your self-worth because you no longer need external validation. Always choose love over fear. It will keep you feeling lighter in the moment. And I think you can do that because you know you are love. This is divine passion. I try to understand the meaning of sacred sexuality. Aligning with our higher self, that is sacred, that is divine passion, that you love yourself with uh, passion. It's uniting you with your higher self, unifying everything in your heart. I will end up this reading with a ritual that comes with this beautiful card for you. Close your eyes and place your hands on your lower belly. Feel your breath, expand your belly with each inhale. Repeat the following. I open to receive the spark of life. The pulse of desire moves through my being. I declare yes to my passion, yes to excitement and surrender accordingly. Imagine a soft flame is slit in your belly. Feel into its warmth and any other sensation that arise. Stay with this energy for as long as you desire. Move throughout your day, noticing all the little things that makes this flame grow and burn brighter. Yes, the light, the gold, the love that is in you. I hope you enjoy your reading and thank you for watching.